Hello everyone, my name is Ira Cloud and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to do this super bright Valentine's Day makeup look slash transformation by using only affordable products. So if you're interested how to do that, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so let's get started. I'm going to start off from my eyebrows and today I'm going to use drugstore affordable makeup. Before I use brow products, I'm going to apply the NYX Angel Veal Skin Perfecting Primer on my forehead to blend the eyebrow products and concealer easily. For eyebrows today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil in the shade Deep Brown. I'm going to do my eyebrows as usual. First, I'm tracing the line on the bottom of the brow, then on the top of the brow, and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using the Brow Powder Set Waterproof in the shade 10 from the Catrice Cosmetics. Then I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara in the shade Medium Brown. Doing the same thing on the other eyebrow. Also, for the eyebrow gel, you can use the affordable one. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I'm carving up my eyebrows using the Max Vector Pan Stick in the shade 12 True Beige and Flat Brush. I'm blending the concealer using Damp Beauty Blender. Alright guys, brows are done and time for the eyes. And first I'm going to apply the scotch tape to make the cut eye shape. For primer today, I'm going to use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot Eyeshadow Primer. If you want something more affordable, you can use concealer. For example, the Catrice Ultimate Camouflage Cream in the shade 15 Fair or your favorite concealer. I'm applying the base on the upper and the lower eyelids. I have this Essence Hey LA affordable palette and from this palette I'm going to take matte pink color and I'm going to apply it in the crease and this is going to be our transition shade. I'm stamping the color into my crease using tapping motions to make it super pigmented and I'm starting to blend this color using the same brush with small circular motions and I'm blending the edges of the eyeshadow once again. Now I'm going to apply the main lid color and I'm going to apply red eyeshadow. Today I want to use this red eyeshadow right here from the Disney Villains eyeshadow palette from the Mad Beauty and I guess this is also affordable. You can use whatever red eyeshadow you have. For example, I have from the Yushes Cosmetics or Inglad or from this palette right here. This is the CMAADU Cosmetics. This is from AliExpress. And I'm going to stamp it on into my crease using tapping motions. And I'm going to blend this color using two previous colors that I used before. I'm using small blending brush and scratching and circular motions. It faded out a little bit, so I'm reapplying the red eyeshadow into the crease. I'm going to highlight my brow bone using white pinkish shimmery color from the Romantic Bird Professional Makeup Palette. This is also an affordable palette. Alright guys, time to cut the lid and I'm using the same Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot and Flat Brush. Alright, and now you have to set the lid using your favorite shimmer eyeshadow. Today I'm going to use pinkish eyeshadow from the Mad Beauty Villains eyeshadow palette and I'm going to apply it on the cut crease and I'm using flat brush. Also I'm applying this shade with my fingertip. Now I'm going to apply two light shades from the Romantic Bird Professional Makeup Palette. A light matte color called Icon and the shimmer color called Marshmallow on the inner corner. I'm going to do my wink using the Essence Liquid Ink Waterproof Eyeliner and then I'm going to hide the wink using black eyeshadow on the outer corner. 
I'm going to deepen the outer corner because I have hooded eyes. Also, I'm going to extend the inner corner. I'm going to hide the wing using black eyeshadow and I'm taking black eyeshadow from the Mad Beauty Villains eyeshadow palette and I'm going to apply it on the outer corner using tapping motions and I'm blending this color in the crease and on the outer corner using the previous red eyeshadow from the same palette and small blending brush also I want to add some eyeliner to frame the crease i'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and i'll be right back all right guys time to take off the scotch tape oh. Oh. i'm cleaning my face from the fallout using makeup removal wipes all right guys time to finish off the face makeup and i'm going to apply the next angel veal skin perfecting primer on the rest of my face I'm going to color correct and today I'm using the NYX color correcting concealer palette. For my blemishes, I'm using green corrector. For the under eye area to hide the blueness on my face, I'm using a red corrector. I'm applying the corrector with flat brush. I'm blending the corrector using my fingertips to warm up this product and to blend it easily. Then I'm applying beige corrector on the same places where I applied the color corrector to hide the color corrector. I'm blending it once again with my fingertips. Time for the foundation. I have two foundations. The Catrice All Matte Shine Control Foundation in the shade 27N Neutral Amber Beige and the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Matte Cover Foundation in the shade 110 Rose Vanilla. Both are affordable, but the Catrice one is more affordable. Today I'm using the L'Oreal Paris. Because this foundation modifies very quickly, I'm going to apply it first only on the one part of my face and blend it very quickly using damp beauty blender then i'm applying the foundation on the rest of my face and blending it in using damp beauty blender for concealer today i'm going to use the maybelline instant nth eraser concealer in the shade one beige rose you can use more affordable concealer Catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer but today i want to use the maybelline one i'm blending the concealer using damp beauty blender looking upwards i'm using the max factor pan stick in the shade 12 true beige and flat brush to cover the blemishes that i have on my face instead of max factor you can use more affordable brand this is catrice ultimate camouflage cream in the shade 15 w fair and i'm blending the concealer with my fingertips for powder today i'm going to use this two affordable powders one is the essence all about matte fixing compact powder and the second one is the catrice all matte plus shine control powder in the shade 001 universal and i'm applying the powder all over my face before i apply the powder i forgot to clean up the shape of the eye and i'm cleaning up the shape of the eye using flat brush and the max factor concealer i'm going to finish off the face makeup and then then I'm going to finish off the eye makeup. It's time for contouring. For contour today, I'm using the Inglot Sculpting Powder in the shade 110. This is the coolest shade that they have. And I'm applying the sculpting powder on my cheeks, on my forehead, on the chin, on the jawline, on the nose, and under the bottom lip to make my lips look fuller. For blush today, I'm going to use the blush from the Chic palette from Catrice Cosmetics and I'm going to apply it on my cheeks and on my nose to make this makeup look more cute. For bronzer today, I'm using the Maybelline The City Bronzer in the shade 250 Medium Warm and I'm applying it on the same places where I applied the contour. Also, I'm going to apply a little bit of the bronzer from the Catrice Cheek Palette Tropical Collection. Alright guys, time to finish off the lower lash line. 
First, I'm going to apply the Maybelline Tattoo Liner Black Gel Pencil in the shade 900 Deep Onyx on the upper and the lower water lines. And also, I'm applying it on the lower lash line and blending that in with black eyeshadow from the Maybelline The Nudes eyeshadow palette. Then I'm applying two previous shades that I applied in the crease. Red shade from the Mad Beauty Villains eyeshadow palette and I'm blending this red color with pink eyeshadow from the Hey LA Essence eyeshadow palette. Or you can add this black shade from the Villains palette. Alright, time for mascara and lashes. For mascara today, I'm going to use the Colossal Go Extreme Leather Black Mascara from Maybelline New York. First, I'm applying the mascara on the bottom lashes and then on the top lashes. I'm applying the mascara on the both sides of the lashes. And then I'm going to apply the lashes. These are affordable lashes from AliExpress called Scarlet. Cone heat. I'm applying the mascara once again on my top lashes to stick my own eyelashes with the fake eyelashes. Don't forget to use eyeliner right after you applied the lashes. Alright guys, time for the lips. I'm going to do bright lips. First, I'm going to start off with the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. Then I'm going to line my lips and fill them in using the Rimmel London Exaggerate Lip Pencil in the shade 105 under my spell. For a lipstick today, I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Super Stay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade 112 Composer and I'm going to overline my lips. I'm using NYX lip brush to make my lips look sharp. To carve up my lips, I'm going to use the Max Factor Pan Stick in the shade 12 True Beige and Flat Brush. Time for the setting spray and highlighter. For setting spray today, I'm going to use the affordable Catrice Oil Control Matte Fixing Spray. And for highlighter, I'm going to use two highlighters from the Catrice Cheek Palette. First, I'm going to use the Catrice Setting Spray and then I'm going to use the highlighter to make the highlighter more pigmented. Alright guys, and that was the Valentine's Day super bright makeup look slash transformation by using only affordable products. If you enjoyed watching this video, had fun with me or found it useful, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok, that all is Ira Cloud. And see you in my next video. Bye! 12 to be <laughs> for my blemishes for the be be <laughs> I'm blending the concealer using damp beauty blur I'm blending the concealer with damp <laughs> I'm blending the concealer using damp beauty blend <laughs> I'm blending the cons <laughs> I'm blending the concealer using damp beauty blender <laughs> time for the setting spray and how you <laughs> makeup look maybe <laughs> all right guys but <sighs> smoky eye uh.